Alright, hey everybody. This is going to be a Spaceship Reader unboxing video. I'm going to get that, get to that in a second. I just have to quickly do some setup stuff. Uh, which is always a hassle. Which is always a hassle. So, hi. I am Keith. I am the lead designer, publisher, everything, the guy that does everything at Cutlass Board Games. And Spaceship Readout is our um, next board game to come to Kickstarter. It's a social reduction, deception, betrayal, adventure. And I'm really, really excited about it. It's got this really cool sci fi theme and some fantastic art. And I'll be showing you off our brand new prototype in just a second. Unfortunately, Facebook makes this platform really painful. I was doing everything one handed. Alright. I'm gonna turn around so you can stop staring at my good face and I get to show you the game. Alright, that's a bread tag. This is it. This is the pre production copy of Spaceship Readout. Now, this is just a placeholder art for the box art. We're going to get a whole new box art done for the Kickstarter campaign. So this is the pre-production copy that the reviewers will get. Spaceship Breedout is a social reduction game based on the struggles of a space crew against evil shapeshifters as they race to save their friends and their home. Alright, um, going to now struggle to open it. <laughs> Alright, hang on one sec. Switch around so you can step back in my face. Oh, I struggle. I struggle vehemently with the packaging. Okay, never mind, that was really easy. Please down. Alright. We're back. I've removed the plastic. I am now once again doing everything one handed. Okay, so peering into the box, we'll see first we've got the rule book. I think that's the front. That's the back with our socials on it. And so we've got quite the detailed rule book. I won't go through the whole thing. We've got other how to play games. This is just showing off the components. Flick through a couple of the pages, show off the ads for our previous games, you know, standard stuff. Then we've got. Alright. Now this. And I have to open a snap lock bag with one hand. There we go. Alright. So we've got actual engine repair crystals. So that's these. They look. Oh, they actually look really good. The ones I've been using have been stolen from my copy of Ascension, and these look very similar, which is kind of what I wanted. So these are the engine repair crystals that the crew must use to get the engine back online so they don't crash into a nearby moon as the orbit decays. And then we've got the actual ship marker itself, which will track the orbits that it does as it slowly crashes in. This is just a uh, one for the prototype. This and the crystals in the campaign itself will be replaced by a really, really nice punch card. So you'll have proper tokens and stuff for that. But I wanted an actual physical copy that had a nice table presence for pictures and videos. Ah, put them aside. We'll come back to that. Alright, now we've got our deck of cards. Come out. Alright, nothing else in there. All right. So, these are all my really roughly done graphic design skills 
and it looks like they've shuffled all the reminder cards and everything in there so it's in no particular order which is really really helpful all right so first up we've got our reminder cards now if you've played spirits of Carter mansion this is probably the most essential part of the game <laughs> this is a little bit to remember so every player will get a reminder card at the start uh, and that tells you what all of the different characters do and is also used to track your alignment so for example if you select a red card at the start you would put it face down underneath your alignment card and then that's how you know that this is your alignment card and then this determines what team you're on I'll come back to that so we've got our reminder cards we've then also got jailed reminder cards so jailed is our semi player elimination mechanic where while you're in jail, you can still call people out for when they're bluffing on stuff with less of a penalty, but you can't perform any character actions on your turn. But it's it's kind of like a way of, we think you're evil, we're going to put you in jail. But then you can also break out of jail on your turn. So it gives you a lot of timing around what you can and cannot do. We've then also got the Orbit's Remaining track and the Engine Repair track. Back a bit. There we go. So, the orbit's remaining track is going to have the ship that will slowly travel down this little zigzag hex path as it comes along. And then, when it hits number six, that's the final orbit. And there's a couple of special abilities that activate in the final orbit. And then, once the, the player um, to the right of the first player will have the very final turn, then the ship will come off the track and crash, and the evil team will win. We've then also got the engine repair track, which the crystals will sit on. Like this. Once you've got four on there, the engine is considered repaired and the good team is able to win. However, once you get six on there, the evil team can over repair it, which is a sabotage victory. And the engine super explodes and the whole ship explodes and the evil team wins instead. So there's this whole push-pull we are trying to repair it, but not repair it too much so that the evil team can get it. So now we've got the engineer, whose ability it is to repair the engine. Some cards will have red cards and blue cards, some cards will just have blue cards. Alright, I'm going to tell you what all the characters do, we can save that for another time. I'm just going to show you off the art. We've got our cyborg tactical officer. Got our security officer. Got our chief scientist. Got our recruiter. Got our chief medical officer. What else have we got? More reminder cards, more jailed cards. Ah, right, here's the captaincy reminder card. If you're the captain, you can perform any character action and no one can call you out. It's kind of like a superpower, but anyone can remove the captaincy from you using the Admiral ability. So when you choose to make someone the captain, they get the captaincy. And they are pseudo protected and can use actions they don't have with the cards in their hand, which is really strong. Uh, and they can also block jailing one time by forfeiting the captaincy. So there's always this push-pull and everyone is trying to be the captain and protect the captain and control what's going on. Alright, what am I missing? What cards haven't I shown you yet? Ah, we have our first player reminder card, which is probably going to get upgraded to a really sexy token at some point, but that's just what we have for right now. It's another sneak peek at a Kickstarter stretch goal. That is actually all the different characters, but we also have this special admiral, which is only red if there's seven players. So we've got a little bit of control on what the good and evil players in the game are going to be. Alright, so that was our really quick unboxing video. If you liked what you saw, if you think the game looks really cool, you want to learn more about it, we're going to have more videos, more content, reviews, all that kind of stuff coming up soon as we approach Kickstarter next month. Um, so if you're keen about it, I'll tag the page in the comments below. It wouldn't let me put it in the description. And then come check it out. So thanks for hanging around.